how to be a top authority in your niche, in your discipline, whatever it is, how to be a top authority. Now, this is like my second attempt making this video, so hopefully this one goes good, all right? I'm um, sitting here chilling in my car, and I pick my kids up from school, already dropped them off from school. It's a great day. Um, first off, subscribe. Let's hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, second of all, hit the notification bell because I want you to be notified anytime I drop a great content value-based video on self-publishing. Third of all, my course just opened up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Claim your book, self-publishing just opened up. You know what I'm saying? Right now we got it um, limited to 25 seats. 25 seats is going to be the best debate test. It's not free, but it's going to be 25 seats. Get in. Y'all are going to be the ones that we use to make the course better. You know, before we go up on price, we're going to find out what you like, what you didn't like about the course, what I need to add, what I need to take away just to make it more suitable for the, um, the next incoming class. Okay. And like I say, it's 25 um, seats available. After that, when I reopen it again, probably next month or two months from now, the course will be higher. Probably um It'll be higher than what it is or whatever. So you can go ahead and click the link below, check that out, and start getting the free tips and guides that I got to self-publishing. But back to the subject at hand, how to become an authority. To become an authority, keyword on there is author. You got to be an author. I'm telling you, you can't name somebody who is questioned about how much they know or their knowledge who has a book behind them. If you have a book behind you, if you're a real estate agent, and if you're a real estate agent, pretty much period you should be having a book a personal book that you give to all your clients regardless uh, a little quick a quick book no more than maybe 20 something pages about the home buying experience going through you credit score the type of loans the type of quick buy short buy all that stuff there whatever the 30 day window you should be having a book if you're a lawyer and you have solved cases or you know the legitimate of the type of case you do, whether it's um, civil or criminal, you should have you a book that you, you should be able to give out to your clients to go ahead to get their business and for something for them to pass along. Just, just, just point blank, period. But when you have a book behind you in anything, child care, um, if you got a poetry book behind you, if you overcame cancer, if you got a book behind you, you are more solidified. I mean, not to say nobody's not going to believe that you overcame cancer or that you um, survived the deployment and PTSD and all that stuff there or how you overcame almost losing your, your, your family due to divorce and all that stuff there. If you, if you and your family, you and your spouse have gotten past infidelity and all that stuff there, you need to write a book so you can be the go-to person. I mean, this is how you become an authority. People call you for... Um, classes to teach classes this is how people call you to speak at events and speak at um speak at conferences and it gives you more way for you to set up your table and sell your books and whatever merchandise you might have associated with it but to be an authority you need to have a book i mean dr phil has a book oprah has a book um maury povich has a book um all my great mentors that i look up to have a book um rich dad poor dad um who doesn't have a book out here that you that you look up to? Gary V. If you're if you're if you're a person who follows Gary V, Gary V has a book. Gary V has I want to say five books out now. Maybe it's four, but Gary V has a book. You know, and I have brought I have brought in these books. So, um, if you follow Russell Bronson of the the man of Click Funnels, he has a book. So you need to have a book. Some of my ment all my mentors just have a book out. All right, um, even if you have a book that is like a novel or a children's book. And you're still working on other stuff there. The fact that you could you could put author of such and such, the author of so and such and such also wrote such and such. It already builds up your credibility. You know, um, if you had somebody who didn't write a book, how, how, not to say you wouldn't trust them, but at the same time, if you had to choose between two people, a doctor and you got a surgery, and there's a doctor who has did all this practice and has a book that has so many reviews on it and ranks so much on Amazon that you got another doctor who just does the work and nah, never wrote a book, maybe even read that doctor's book. Who are you more likely to go with, you know, hey, even though I want my insurance to take care of this this doctor right here, this is the one I want to go under when I go under the knife. It's just, it's just point blank simple, you know what I'm saying? So the becoming authority, you need to have a book. And if you want to write a book and you want to get started writing a book and pretty much up in your expertise or your authority, you know, worth, I advise you to click the link below, start getting my free tips and guides on writing a book and pretty much to speed, to speed it up and streamline it, go ahead and enroll in the course. Enroll in the Claim Your Book course and 
pretty much get started on the right path all right um subscribe once again like this video um please hit the notification bell and if you have a question if you have a topic that you want me to hit on dealing with self-publishing and becoming an authority and further building your expertise put it below and i will definitely get back with you and i will definitely make a video on it all right y'all take it easy have a great one man swally